Okay, so we're relining uh, Northwest Model 25 brakes today with George Jarvis, and he's showing us how to do it. So what's the first step, George? Well, let, let me let me line myself up and see what we got here. So this is the countersink tool. This is the countersink, yeah. 30 now, kind of late there. And no, it, it, oh, this is a bishop, put it. This is not the easy sink, put it. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Okay, so this is an old lining. We popped out one of the rivets, and we're setting the countersink. I gotta find the hole. With it. I got a hole in this thing here someplace. There's a hole in there. Yep. Oh, here it is. Yeah. A piece of wood with a hole. We'll line yeah. that up. Yeah, we'll line that up, right? Oh, let's see. Okay, see, I'm bottomed out here. I'm bottomed out. Yeah. Bottomed out on the stop, yeah. Okay, so it's bottomed out. So that should be be all set for countersinking. Yep. So okay. we can countersink the yep. new holes the same as yep. the old holes. And after you do a couple, right? If you don't, th if you think you you want a little bit more, they used to go half the size of the lining. See, see the half depth the there. Thickness. They used to yep. do that, yeah. Okay. But you, you could skin a little bit more because they they could have got a little bit more out of these. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So run, that's how it's going to go. Run a test sample on the old lining. What's that's that? A, Run a test sample on the old lining, make sure your new yeah. hole is going to match. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we can do that, yeah. It's plastic, you know, to keep you get. So I put this tape on so they don't get a shock, because they give you a shock, right? See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gee, George, she must have really liked you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I helped her and her son a little bit, you know. Yeah. Her son came up here last year on his motorcycle. You know, and she, his mother is dead now. I've known her all. She died. She was 93 when she died. You know? And she was one of those uh, facilities the that held on. Yeah. Assisted living. Yeah. And they, they should never, they should have checked everybody that went out at night. They, and she went out through the door and she, it was, uh, in the wintertime. And she's walking around and she got near the, the edge of the driveway and she fell down. You know? She died right there because nobody was there to help her. That's why I say if they checked everybody that walked out, old people don't walk very far, you know. Mm -hmm. See, they would say that, but she died. She died. Right, the, the cold killed her. Right, 93 years old she was. She, what a good person. She worked for Mass Mutual, you know, insurance company. Okay. A, <clears throat> I usually go through all the holes, you know. So you're just clearing all these holes out, George. Oh, that's all I'm doing. Yeah, just make sure nothing. So you don't want to screw up there. Huh? Now the time to do it, right? Yep. Or we got a drill. You think it'd be better that way, you want? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's a toss up. I forgot it's been so long I've done this. You know, you can send it out, but you got to pay. You know? Yeah. Because you know yourself, if you can't do this stuff yourself, then you got to pay somebody else to do it. That's the rule of thumb. That's the cars, too, you know? Either got to have the time or the money. I guess so, huh? In my in but I don't trust anybody else to do work on on my stuff. Yeah? They hack it. Well, they don't care. That's the, the, the truth, huh? Yeah, that's right. Just like front end alignment. If you ever get your car front end line, always check when it comes home. I had my Cadillac done in East Hartford, right? And I went to an auction with East Hartford's owners down up in New York State there, and I let them drive the car, and they said, you know, your steering wheel is a little sloppy. I said, I just had a front end line. Well, I pulled over the side, and I crawled into the car. The guy never put the nut on the pitman arm. Really? So it was just the pit on its way out? The hanging on there. He forgot to put the nut that held the pitman arm, and it came down. That's why we, we could have been all killed, yep. you know? Huh? That's why you can't you can't uh, depend on somebody else to do the job, you know. <clears throat> okay, so we've got these five pucks that we made the same size as the old lining, and now George is clamping it up yeah. so we can yeah. drill through here through yeah. the holes in the band yeah. and make holes right, yeah. in the lining. Now you come over this side and drill through. Okay, see this here? You're going to drill yep. right through them. Yeah, he can do it, so he's going to be doing it someday himself. So. Okay. 
so, so, about that. so if you put if you put it on a, on a on a shovel. Yeah, on a shovel. Yeah. But an hour and a half. About an later, hour and a half. You were living. You were living. That, that doesn't hold at all. That won't hold at all. So and that, that's with new brakes. Brand brand new lining. I'm talking about. New right. Lining, when you reline it. Yeah. You it won't hold at all. I'm telling. Why you, is that? It, you got to cook the juice out of it. Apparently. <laughs> well, they, when they get so, hot. So you got to get them hot. When they get hot, there, there's something happens to them. They they get they're like greasy, you know, and they won't hold at all. And then, and then when they straighten out, they're perfect from then on in. Number one. So you just got to run it for an hour or two. Yeah, about an hour. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a lot of guys. They bang the trucks and everything. They can't. <laughs> they can't let the. They can't stop the bucket. It goes right down. Brand new lining. You know. Oops. Huh. But you got to weather it, right? <laughs> That's about the size of it, huh? You got to so weather is it. that any different on a shovel from a crane, or is it? Well, even a crane, it could be the same thing. But a shovel gets hotter because it's more. With a crane, you, 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 the cable's winding up a longer time, so. It's a little longer period. You don't get it quite so hot right away, you know. But you know, when you were working for the contract and you had 15, 20 trucks out there, you you didn't get a chance to stop. You kept right on going. You know what they used to do? They used to have you load trucks and keep the trucks coming until the first one came back. When the first one they loaded come back, then they ate up all your downtime waiting, right? Do you understand what I'm talking okay. about? You, they they forced so many trucks on, then they would take some away because they knew you, they had you, right? Do you know what I'm talking about, huh? <laughs> Huh? You start loading trucks, right? And you're setting them out, right? They're going. When they come back and you still got five trucks, well, they take five trucks away, right? Uh huh. They know they got you, right? You, you. They know that's enough for you, that's, right? That's a white <laughs> trick. Yeah. yeah that, that. <laughs> but this, I'm telling you, you know, today, you don't get more than four hours work out of a man. Did you know that? It's a known fact. It's gone. See, when I was growing up, you got your four hours plus because you needed the job so bad because. You're working so cheap, you know. I was working twenty-five dollars a week. Imagine twenty-five dollars a week on the shovel, six days for twenty-five dollars a week. You don't realize years ago. Yeah, but people they didn't pay that kind of money years ago. Truck driver. I mean, even so compared to nowadays, you just sit there and just run joysticks. It's like playing with a video game. Hey, running, yeah. running the big uh, back in big Northwest pushing back in, levers. You're working. Yeah, but back in 1952. Truck drivers were getting truck drivers were getting 65 cents an hour. Truck drivers were getting. That's not much money, is it, huh? 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 See? Now we're counter taking the holes. Oh, okay. Just right. Right. Okay. Now, we're a little bit long. I just wanted we ought to. I bought a pair of these here. You sometimes you, you get the right one. Cut off what we need about half of that, probably. About half? Yeah, try that. Yeah, I'm okay. Now, take the hammer here and hit that. Flatten it out. Flatten out with the hammer. Go ahead. Keep hitting it. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. We got to make sure we're on the. Got to make sure you're Yeah, on you got to make sure we're in the hole. Okay, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. That's pretty good. Now take a look and see what you got. See? You're in there. Looks you like can, it's a little side. You can go in a little bit more. Yeah, probably, a little more. Huh? Well, hit, hit, hit down on this part, right? That looks good. That's a little better. It was, huh? Yeah. You wrap yeah, the cable around the stump, then you go around a tree, <laughs> and you find a big tree, and then we pull on the next one out. And you go on with one against the other. Okay, so we just put the four rivets in, now we're yeah. setting them into the counter well, sink. The horses were free to go around, they step over the thing, they step over the cable. You know? Look, I wish we could find one. You know, eventually, we're going to have to cut trees down here. We get, right. get a lot of trees down there, right? It'd be an idea to have one of those for you to use to try it out to show right, people. Be, here, lift it up so I can uh, show that. Yeah, I don't understand I what the tool is. What's that? I should go in a little further. See how it's a little, how it's flush? You're hitting it good, but 
and they put one around the front there, and, and the horses keep pulling right. it like a two-part line there, right? That one part pulled it right off. Uh, yeah. And we've been doing the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was only a little kid when they used them, you know? But that's how they pump, pulled stumps out years ago. Oh. Someday John will be taking it off. <laughs> Going to the high, high horse power. Say, Jesus, I did that when I was 17, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the only one.